What's up, y'all? Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we're reviewing and raffling the iPi Industrial IoT prototyping platform from Adlink Technologies. So while maker boards like the Arduino and Raspberry Pi are great in part because of their ultra low cost, they are, well, cheap. And that's not a problem in some contexts. But if you're a professional engineer trying to prototype a system for an industrial or commercial use case, let's say, the inexpensive components on those boards don't provide a sufficient analog to what you'd actually deploy in the field. So how would you go about rapid prototyping? Well, that's where the iPi comes in. The iPi is a smart computer on module stack that consists of Adlink's LEC PX30 processor module, an off-the-shelf smart carrier board, and even a hardware attached top that can convert DSI signals to HDMI. The processor module, which is actually here, connects to the carrier via the Smart 2.1 MXM 3.0 connector, and the hat plugs in via 40 pin expansion headers, which continue to extend out the top. Now, you usually wouldn't use a COM architecture for rapid prototyping because they rely on these application-specific carrier boards, which can be time-consuming to develop, and you usually only want to spend that time when you're optimizing your final COM-based system design. However, the iPi carrier is simple yet general purpose, and that gives prototypers the flexibility to evaluate a range of signals like the two 10100 uh, megabit per second LANs here for USB 2.0 ports and one USB 2.0 on the go port, four lane MIPI DSI, two lane MIPI CSI, and serial interfaces like CAN, SPI, UART, and I2C, so on and so forth. Of course, all of this can be pared down later if necessary on a final carrier board, but who cares right now? At this point, we're just trying to get going. So over the aforementioned MXM connector, the signals I was just referring to were transported to the LEC PX30 processor module, located here, which supports a Rockchip PX30 SoC powered by four ARM Cortex A35 CPU cores, a Mali G31 GPU, a bunch of multimedia blocks, and even crypto support. The module also features two gigabytes of memory. But here's magic trick number one. Because of the SMARC architecture, that module here can be swapped out for other SMARC compliant modules up to and including top of the line Intel Apollo Lake designs, which are now new age Atom devices. So even during one evaluation cycle, you can easily swap out one type of SMARC module for another, all while remaining within the iPi environment. So speaking of that, magic trick number two comes down to software, like so many of these kits often do. So software is usually the breaking point with regards to that hardware portability we just talked about. So Adlink integrated the MRA software layer into every SMARC module it produces. The MRA layer is a hardware abstraction layer that was originally developed by Intel, and it allows massive portability so that pro programming for a rock chip device or an NXP IMX8 or whatever other SMARC module you may choose is essentially the same, and then there is little to no rework when you're porting your code from one implementation to the other. It even allows you to reuse code from Raspberry Pi and Arduino without any modifications. MRA also comes in handy if you want to add additional hats to the design, as you can access this functionality using the useful packages and modules software driver library located in UPM Eclipse. Oh yeah, and one last note on software, iPi supports Android, Ubuntu, Yocto, and Debian Linux. iPi users can also use Adlink's DDS networking software, much of which is also open sourced, for real-time networking connectivity. And with regards to that connectivity, there are also options to purchase the kit with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi via dongle. Now, all of this is important because of the industrial grade components on the board, which have been qualified for industrial embedded applications that require long life cycles, high mead time between failure, and strict revision controls. In fact, Adlink backed solutions like the LEC PX30 Smart module included with the iPi kit with a 10 year life cycle guarantee. So, with all that, you're probably gonna have to pay more than you would for a Raspberry Pi or Arduino. Well, yeah, you are, but not as much as you probably think. You can order this entire iPi kit. The smart module, the carrier, the hat, the USB cable, a 32 gigabyte SD card, an AC power adapter for 125 bucks. And if you want it with that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongle, uh, throw in another 11 for 136. 
You can find out more information on the iPi or even order it online from iPi.wiki. That's iPi.wiki. Or five of you who fill out this week's raffle form, which is linked to on the screen and in the description below, have a chance to win one of these for free. And yes, we'll even pay for the shipping to winners anywhere in the world. So good luck to all you industrial engineers out there who have been looking for a fast system prototyping solution, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.